There's a, a concept from our research that really has proven to be powerful, and that is that the customer is the wrong unit of analysis when you're trying to innovate. And that goes against the gospel that's taught in most business schools and marketing programs. But rather than the customer, you need to understand what it is the customer is trying to accomplish. What's the job that the customer is trying to get done? And a job is a very stable thing. It exists whether or not there's a, a market for products that could be hired to do the job. And if you just are cognizant of watching what people do and asking yourself, I wonder why she's trying to do that. You know, what's she, what's she trying to accomplish through this whatever it is she's doing? You know, for example, there's been a job uh, forever, which is I've got to get this from here to there with perfect certainty as fast as possible. And that need has always existed out there disembodied. You think of, you know, the, uh, the game board, the game of life. <clears throat> it's got all these serpentine paths across the game of life and you land on a space and you find yourself needing to get something done. Well, that's actually not a bad representation of the way the world works, you know. I as a consumer one day may not need to get this from here to there with perfect certainty as fast as possible, but on occasion I land on that space and I do. And so then I ask myself, gosh, what can I hire to get this job done? And uh, I look around and, gosh, back in Julius Caesar's day, the only thing you could hire was a horseman with a chariot, and you'd give it to him and send him off over the hill and hope he got there safely. And then airmail coalesced, and you could hire airmail to get this from here to there with perfect certainty as fast as possible, and it wasn't very certain or fast. And then FedEx came in with a, <clears throat> a system that really does the job just about as fast and as certainly as anyone can possibly do it. And so the job has always been there. It's stable. You can, if you're looking for it, you can see that the job is there. And then as products and services are developed to do the job, a market emerges. But that's the kind of... Um, kind of mindset you have to have. In the automobile industry, um, there, everybody makes cars and everybody's trying to copy the best features of everybody else's cars. And as a consequence, they're very difficult to differentiate. But if you watch what people are trying to accomplish when they drive a car, there are about six jobs for which a car is hired. And one of those jobs is, I'm a, I'm a salesperson, I'm a service person, and i got to work out of my car. My car is my office. And you look around, there are no cars that are designed to be an office, even though there are between 5 and 8 million people a year who have to work out of their car. You know, so they'll go to the dealer and buy a one-size-fits-none automobile, chisel them down on the price as far as they can go, and then as soon as they drive off the lot, they begin spending thousands of dollars every year trying to transform the car into an office. So to get access to the internet, they got to pull over to Starbucks to use the T-Mobile hotspot. They got their Blackberry and they're just pecking out answers to their emails. At 11 o'clock, they'll just go to the back tables at McDonald's and spread all their paper out to fill out their expense reports and the customer progress reports. They stop at a traffic light and the, the notebook computer falls onto the floor because there's no docking station there. They're driving with one hand, talking on the phone with another. You know, They're spending a lot of time and effort trying to transform the car into an office because no car company designed a car to do the job well. But if the car companies would and, and this job exists, you know, it's, there's no market yet because nobody's developed a product for that job. But just watching what people are doing, you can imagine what extraordinary opportunities a car company would have to design the cockpit of a car to work perfectly as a mobile office.